Hi, it's Hannah here, and today we're looking at uh, consent and choice in horse training. Now, we're specifically going to be looking at a technique called start buttons or consent cues. But before we dive into that, I just want to talk a little bit more generally about the idea of consent in training. So when your horse is um, consenting or willing to do something, they're saying that they're happy to do it. They are uh, relaxed, willing, keen. When they are not consenting, when they are saying that they don't want to do it, then it, they're saying, I am scared, I'm unsure, I'm confused, I'm frustrated, I'm worried. Um, and so you can see that it all comes down to the emotions, it's how your horse feels. So this idea of um, giving our horses a voice and encouraging them to express how they feel and responding to that is built in all the way through connection training. So we are always looking for our horses to give their genuine, full, relaxed, willing, happy consent to what we're doing. And you'll see in um, all of our videos that when we get those um, responses where they say, I'm not sure, that we back off and change it so that we're looking for them to be able to say yes. So for me, uh, Choice and consent is built right through all of the training and it's really about this subtle communication between you and your horse where your horse has the confidence to express how they feel and they trust that you're going to be able to read that and respond appropriately. But start buttons are also really useful. They're kind of a more formal way of giving your horse choice um, and consent where they have a very specific behaviour to give to let you know that they understand, that they're ready, that they maybe want you to start or they want you to stop. And they can be really helpful in certain situations. So the best way to explain how these work um, is to have a look at some situations where we've used start buttons and you can see them in action here. Okay, so the first clip shows Rachel out at her rescue centre in Spain, Positive Horse Training, show working with one of the rescues there, Triana. Now, Triana arrived with a lot of issues around being touched and handled, which is partly her past history and partly due to some physical issues as well. So it's extra important that Triana has a way to safely and quietly tell people when she is happy to be touched, to have her feet lifted, um, and these other uh, other behaviours that she finds challenging. So you can see in this clip how Rachel explains how she's using the target as a, a start button for Triana's hoof lifting. So basically what I'm doing is when she touches the target, I will ask her for her foot. So she tells me she's ready to pick up her foot by touching the target. And I don't reward her for touching the target. That's her signal to me that she's ready for me to touch the foot, to ask her for the foot. And then I click the foot lifting because that's the behaviour I want. But then I ask her to touch the target again because I really want her to be settled and standing at the target so I can get on with the hoof lifting. So this is a way of letting your horse tell you when they're ready, letting your horse give you permission. And I think it's a really good way of respecting your horse and how they're feeling that day. Now you can see at the moment that Triana is really keen on the hay. Um, this is lovely hay they've got and she is really enjoying it. So I could, if I battled on now and picked her feet up, I could probably do it, but she wouldn't be consciously really learning what she needs to learn about cooperating with holding up her feet. So I don't want to push it, I want her to be with me and to be helping me and to be cooperating with me so that she lifts her feet very consciously and very deliberately because in the past, the, the barriers that she's had in the past have basically forced it and held her feet until you know, uh, and, and fought with her. And I want this to be a very cooperative deal that we're we're creating here. So I'll just see if she's ready to touch the target again um, and have another little go of that so you can see the sequence. Are you ready? Touch the target. Good girl. Touch the target. Yeah, well done you. I used a similar technique with India when I was training her for um, injections. Um, she had to have 
quite a lot of veterinary work when she was very young before she'd had much training and it kicked off um, some very very strong reactions about being handled by vets and especially around injections so um she would rear bite barge tank through um, which she became quite difficult so i retrained it from scratch and used a stationary target and in this case india also has a way of saying uh, stop so it's a start button and a stop button so when she puts her nose on the target, that's her saying, I'm happy for you to go ahead and do some of the injection work. But if she takes her nose off, then we stop. Now, this is important because it gives her more control in the situation and stops her feeling like it's just going to be forced, which helps her to feel more confident, more relaxed and fundamentally much more cooperative as well. So if she comes off the target, what I've been doing is just stopping, waiting for her to walk. It's like she's kind of giving permission. Right. This one's an old clip from when I was presenting at our Equine Clicker Conference in 2012 and um, working with one of my students, Trisha, and her horse, Rio, who was worried about loading. So what we did here was um, we were working on closing the top of the, the top ramp of the horse box because that was something that Rio found very scary and she'd often tend to blast out or get really worried. So Trisha's inside um, the horse box and I'm behind the camera but you can see that when Rio puts her head inside the horse box that's the start button it's my cue to say okay you're okay I can start to pull the the roof down a little bit on you pull the door down if she puts her head outside then we leave the door up and um, wait until she puts her head inside as our cue to say for her to tell us that she's okay for us to do it. Now what's important is that we're just at the start of this training here. So I'm not pulling the ramp all the way down, the door all the way down. I'm just doing it a little tiny bit. So you've always got to work at the level where your horse is at because if I pulled the door all the way down at this stage, it would put Rio way, way over threshold and she would get really worried. So even though she's giving us uh, con her consent, um, her permission to do it, it's only, uh, this stage a very small amount. So of course this builds as you progress through the training but through all this it's really important to remember that it's progressive and you're working to the level of your horse's um, happiness and to keep them under threshold. Yeah, it's good. Give the target again. Final clip is from one of our coaches, Angelica, in Sweden, working with Frodi, who's had um, arrived to her with some issues around being tacked up, especially in the arena. And she has been working with start buttons with him to give Frodi a way to clearly explain to her where what he was happy with her to place on his back. 
So this is really clear. You can see as she approaches with the saddle um, and asks him to touch it that he says no. So very clear no. And she respects that. And it's interesting because you can see how when she walks away, he's still really engaged with the situation. And when she comes back with the saddle pad and says, how about this? He says yes. So him touching the item is um, Angelica's cue to place it on his back. Basically, Frodi has learned that if he targets it, then um, he he's knows it's going to be placed on his back and if he doesn't then it won't. So it's a really clear way for him to be able to explain to Angelica what he's happy with as they work through overcoming his fear. Now all of the horses in these clips have been overcoming issues. So Triana's home had big issues around being handled, India around injections, Rhea was really panicking about being closed in and Frodi around being tacked up and saddled. So um, I think that the start cues are most useful and effective when we're trying to uh, create a clearer channel of communication when we're overcoming issues because normally you can just look at how they are acting emotionally and uh, take your cues from there but when you are overcoming a problem it can be really helpful to have this more kind of formal structure this really clear yes or no um, response from your horse in a way that they can tell you that is safe and that doesn't resort to them going to the big behaviours that they've had to use in the past or just going way over threshold and really panicking about the situation, which all of these horses have shown in the past. This is a much safer way of them being able to say they're happy or that they are unhappy. And it goes against what we feel, but when we take off that um, control and give them the choice, then they're generally much, much happier to cooperate with these challenging behaviours. And especially with something like injections, it feels really... Um, like the opposite of what would work <laughs> or with t tacking up or loading any of these things the opposite of what would what would work by backing off and letting the horse tell us when they're ready but as you can see um, when they have a voice when they feel confident that they're going to be listened to when they've got a clear way to give their consent then they will absolutely tell us quietly calmly and clearly um, what they're happy with and that really really boosts their confidence because they are listened to, they are part of the process, you're working together and it's a, a really effective way to overcome these issues and help them feel calm, relaxed, confident and happy about it in future. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to find out more about how to train your horse using Connection Training, then please check out the Connection Training Club, which is our online membership site, where you can find step-by-step -step guides on exactly how to use these techniques with your horse. So it has, we have a whole suite of home study courses which show you exactly how to use techniques such as the um, start buttons and the consent cues and how we train from an emotional perspective right the way through. So, I mean, these come up in all, all of the different exercises. So it begins right in the foundation course where we really look at the behavior and emotions and how we can train in a way that prioritizes um, your horse to feel happy, relaxed, confident, calm, and of course, connected with you. And then we use these techniques and things like the daily handling course, the healthcare procedures where we're looking at, um, so things like injection training or overcoming fear of um, rugging, saddling, head shy, that kind of thing. Um, fly spray, we use it quite a lot in these. Of course, it's great in despooking because it's a really super way for building confidence. You've seen it a little bit in the loading core, in the loading exercises and how we, we use it there. Um, so especially when you're overcoming um, problem behaviors, we use this idea of the consent cues a lot, um, a lot of the time. So you can also get a lot more support on the CT Club too. We've got a, a really active forum with fantastic members from all around the world who are really supportive, open-minded and um, really helpful as well. And you can get help from Rachel and I directly in things like our monthly Q&As. You can submit your video for review um, for, by us as all part of the CT Club. If you want to find out more, head over to connectiontraining.com where you can find out more about myself, Rachel, and the club, and you can sign up there as well. Um, you can also find out more in our best-selling book. So if you head over to Amazon and search for Connection Training, you'll find it there. That's got a, a lot of information, gives a really good overview of Connection Training, the principles and the techniques so that you can really see how it works in lots of different situations. Thanks for watching and see you soon.